now we're going to join on an Android tablet. Remember to download the Moodle app. So we're going to download, well, open the Moodle app. And once again, I have been on another Moodle site. So in order to get to the Moodle site, to change the Moodle site, you need to click on this button plus. and put in the site address. and click connect. Now we need to put our username in. I think a lot of this stuff is better done in uh, portrait mode than landscape because it always jumps up when you try to type anything. So my username is Alisan. And my password is one, two, three, four, five. Once again, I have to open the change password page. And two, three, four, five, six. And save the changes. I'll say no thanks. So I'm going to continue. And I'm going to join the lesson. In the lesson, you have to click on the lesson itself. And there are two viewers, one moderator, so let's join. Now, this happens on the iPhone as well. And on Android, it says you need to use a newer browser, but you don't. Ignore this. Simply X out of this and reconnect. Press reconnect and you'll have to put in your new password, the one that you just did. And now when we go in the Italian test and we join the lesson, So we're going to join the room, but this time it won't ask us to update the browser. It just accepts what we're doing. Why it does this, I don't know. But once you've been in the first time, you're okay. It could be because of the change of password. It didn't like this. It felt you were the old person and it needed the new person, but whatever. So I have to accept the microphone and press allow, allow Chrome to record audio. Mm, I don't know, allow, deny, allow, whatever. Connecting to echo test. And there we have, we've got a public chat. Right, I've clicked my microphone off. That was the annoying noise. So here, once again, very much like the iPad, you can move around. You can um, share your camera if you wished. Allow, allow. And there you could do that. Start sharing.
But I think on most of the videos, we, we're not going to share cameras. We don't, we don't really need to do that. You just need to see the teacher's camera. So we'll click that off. Now, as a teacher, I'm going to put my camera on to see how it affects you. And as you can see, once my camera is on, it takes up a, a lot of real estate on, on your part as an Android user. So remember to ask me to turn off my camera if it helps. Because now if I do the widescreen, it's like that for you. And if I go back and I do the full screen, well, nothing happens because that's something you have to do on your own. So let's see what you can do as a user. Can you drag my, you can drag my picture into this if you wish, or you can, I don't know if you can drag it back out. Maybe you can drag it to the side. That looks better. And you can also go full screen and maybe it might be wise to turn your tablet this way. And then what I can do is, when I make available the tools here, you can see my markings, but I can also see yours. You can click on the pen and you can write here and change the color to uh, pink. And let's see if you can type. So the idea is you drag a square and then you type. So obviously in Android, this thing works really well. Now I'm going to click to a new page. Oh, let's do a poll. I'm going to do a poll where I want you to choose A, B or C. Now that has come up on the iPad, but not on here. So you may have to click off the big screen in order to see the poll. You may have to go back to this kind of view here. So you may have to have this view on in order to see the poll. So you'll choose A and I can see the result on this one. She'll choose B and then there's no response from the other one but I will publish them. And then you can see the poll that's been published. Okay, now I'm going to do screen sharing. So I click here. I'm going to select the entire screen and allow. So now when I'm on this page, you can see my entire screen. I believe your X is here. So if you click here, you can also see the entire screen as can they on the iPad. If this person clicks here, everyone can see the screen. And if I was to write something here, you'd see it. But unfortunately you cannot write here. Uh, there's nothing you can do here because it's a screen share. So I'm going to stop that screen share. The best way for Android users to use this is perhaps to click this icon here. And if I was to make it wider, it helps a little bit, but not much. So unfortunately there isn't much you can do here other than making it the size of the screen. That's quite good. Because if I was to make it normal size, it would be this. So I think for Android users and iPad, if I do this, make sure you're on the big screen. So make sure you click this X here 
because when you go small, it's not so much fun. If you want to write public chat, you can go here and write something and we would see it. And also remember you can click yourself. I don't know if you can move it up and down. No, maybe if you do it this way. Here, you can have public chat or you can have, you just click on the icon and it should bring you back to the main page. There. So maybe I think for tablet users, the long way is the best because then if I do this and I have the page like this, I think it's much better for you and you can move my image out of the way. I think you can make it smaller as well, somehow. If you click here, you can change to the public chat. You can, sorry, this is me at the top. So if I click that, I can set my status to happy. And then you'll see the happy emoji. And as for the public chat, I can write hello. And you can also write private chats to each other. But you could click on and it says start a private chat. So now only So if we go back have a look and look at the public chat. There's no word you here, but if the other person goes on there, they can see. So remember, you can change from the big picture. If I move my camera off, then you have the big picture, which is much better. And you can use the tools to do what you need to do. And obviously you can type as well, which other people cannot. So that's useful. So, so that's it. All you have to do now is log out and then that's fine. So remember, when you log in the first time, it says the browser isn't good enough. You just have to re-log in. Hope you enjoyed the video.